Yes. And, and I'm glad you brought up the issue of Upanishad because that's a, one of the foundations of, uh, of Vaishnav eco-theology, right? Is the understanding that um, each of us has a certain, uh, you know, God-given allotment to live in this world in a simple way. And if we exceed that, which is the, the very foundation. I mean, we can think of Isha Upanishad's statement on an individual level, right? If, if, I'm, if I'm consuming and throwing things away at an extraordinary pace, I, I will destroy the ecology. We can also think of it in terms of a community level or a national level when nations do this uh, in, the, in the relentless drive to increase GDP and to increase you know, economic growth, uh, more and more consumption just to keep the economic model alive. So when, when, when this sort of consumption approach, uh, Isha Upanishad is rejecting and, and insisting that from any Vaishnava the eco-theology has to begin with a transformation of the heart. Right? That's, that's, where it, um, that's where it starts. Uh, because unless there is an internal transformation, any external rules, regulations, etc., will be a losing battle. Uh, because the the desire from the heart of the living entity is not eradicated. So that's that's not everything we have to say, but it is the starting point. Is starting with a, a transformation of the heart to reduce, if not eradicate, this tendency within the heart of the human being for greed, for, um, you know, overconsumption. Mm -hmm. 